If you regularly watch our videos, you'll notice today's topic is a bit different. We're discussing a global privacy risk that affects everyone using mobile phones and the internet. This video isn't about geopolitics or economics, but it's a universally relevant issue that we all need to consider. In this video, we deep dive into the pervasive reach of big tech and data collection and explores how corporations like Google, Amazon, Meta, Apple, and Microsoft, collectively known as GAMAM, harness user data to fuel their billion-dollar industries and the profound impacts this has on personal privacy. We'll uncover the startling extent to which companies like Google and Meta rely on advertising revenues driven by detailed profiles created from user data such as search histories, page visits, and social interactions. You'll see how this not only powers their financial success, but also transforms users into the very products sold to advertisers. But the implications of such extensive data collection extend beyond just privacy concerns. We'll also reveal how governments across the globe, from the US to China and beyond, have exploited mobile data for political gains, from influencing elections to suppressing dissent. Finally, we delve into the security risks inherent in our mobile devices, often seen as handheld spies, and the ongoing efforts by security researchers to combat these vulnerabilities. Understanding these issues is crucial for anyone navigating the modern digital landscape. This video is not just about outlining problems, but also fostering a discussion on the need for robust privacy laws and technological safeguards to protect our digital lives. Big tech companies have been adept at using data collection to fuel their billion-dollar revenues, largely by leveraging user data to enhance advertising precision and product personalization. The likes of Google, Amazon, Meta, formerly Facebook, Apple and Microsoft, known collectively as GAMAM, derive their revenues through varied strategies, significantly impacting user privacy. Google and Meta, for example, generate the majority of their revenues from advertising. In 2021, nearly 98% of Meta's revenue came from Facebook ads, while 81% of Google's revenue was from advertising on its various platforms. These figures underscore the extent to which user data gathered from activities like searches, page visits, and social interactions, is vital for their business models. The data collected is used to create detailed profiles that help in delivering highly targeted ads, essentially making the user the product sold to advertisers. On the other hand, companies like Apple and Microsoft also generate significant revenues from selling digital and physical products, such as devices and cloud services, although they too participate in data-driven revenue generation to a lesser extent. Apple, for instance, has been more vocal and proactive about user privacy, implementing measures like app tracking transparency, which mandates apps to request user permission before tracking activities across other companies' apps and websites. The collection and use of this data aren't without issues. The data economy has raised substantial privacy concerns among users and regulators alike, Big Tech's ability to track and profile users has been flagged as invasive, prompting calls for more stringent regulatory oversight. In the U.S., privacy laws are fragmented and often not comprehensive, lagging behind regions like the EU, which has implemented the General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, to give users more control over their personal data. Efforts to counterbalance this power are emerging, such as the development of privacy-enhancing technologies that limit the granularity of data that apps can collect, and legislative pushes for more robust consumer data rights. However, the effectiveness and widespread adoption of these measures remain to be seen as the digital landscape continues to evolve rapidly. Cell phones, given their capabilities and the extent of data they collect, can indeed function like handheld spies. Many modern smartphones are equipped with a range of sensors and software that can track your location, listen in via the microphone, and access data from your personal and professional life. Surveillance technologies such as stingrays can intercept cell phone signals, essentially turning phones into devices that can be monitored remotely without the user's knowledge. Moreover, widespread vulnerabilities in Android devices pose significant threats, allowing hackers to exploit these devices and compromise personal data through malware and spyware. Such incidents underline the inherent risks associated with the massive number of Android users globally. If Google, as the steward of Android, were to exploit this data more aggressively, it could lead to increased invasions of privacy and a potentially greater scope for misuse, impacting user trust and personal security. 
Increased data sales by Google could potentially lead to greater privacy invasions and a higher likelihood of data misuse. The mass aggregation and analysis of user data could enhance the precision of targeted attacks, such as phishing or social engineering, where more personalized and convincing lures could be crafted based on the harvested user data. If you have enjoyed the video so far, please remember to like the video and let us know your feedback in the comments. Your engagement is very important to us and helps us reach a wider audience and continue creating content. Thank you. In an era where the world is more connected than ever, governments across the globe are using mobile data for political purposes. The United States, China, Russia, India, and other countries are among those involved in such practices. The Cambridge Analytica scandal in the United States is a stark reminder of how data can be exploited. The firm acquired the personal data of millions of Facebook users without their consent, using it to influence voter behavior in the 2016 U.S. presidential election through targeted political advertising. In the Philippines, the government has been reported to manipulate public sentiment and discredit opposition through social media. This involves the creation of fake social media accounts and the use of trolls to spread pro-government narratives and attack critics. Russia is another state known for its use of social media data to influence political outcomes. Russian agencies created fake accounts across major social media platforms to disseminate divisive content and misinformation to sway public opinion, as detailed in multiple U.S. intelligence reports and investigations. Turkey uses social media monitoring to identify and prosecute individuals critical of the regime. The authorities have developed sophisticated methods to surveil and suppress dissenting voices online, leading to numerous arrests based on social media activity. China extensively utilizes data from tech companies to monitor its citizens and manipulate public opinion. The Chinese government employs a vast surveillance system that includes online monitoring and censorship, heavily relying on data from Chinese tech giants like Tencent and Alibaba. In India, political parties have used social media and mobile app data to target voters with political ads and content tailored to their preferences and biases. This micro-targeting approach was evident in various general elections, where parties collaborated with tech firms to harness voter data for campaign strategies. During recent elections, Brazil saw extensive use of WhatsApp to spread political propaganda and disinformation. Political groups have leveraged the platform's massive reach to send out targeted messages to sway voter opinions, a tactic that has prompted investigations into the misuse of data and election interference. These global instances reflect a concerning trend toward the use of digital surveillance and data manipulation by state actors to control political narratives, monitor citizens, and influence electoral outcomes. This practice poses significant challenges to privacy rights and the democratic process worldwide. As we navigate this interconnected digital world, it's crucial to remember that while the risks associated with data privacy are real, Completely discontinuing the use of mobile phones and internet services is not a practical solution. However, we must maintain a vigilant attitude. In this digital age, free online services are seldom truly free. Companies like Google provide these services in exchange for your data. It's crucial not to undervalue yourself or your personal information when using such services. Be thoughtful about the data you share and the permissions you grant. Understand that every click, every search, every post, is a piece of data that can be used to build a profile about you. It's not just about protecting your privacy, it's about protecting your identity, your freedom, and ultimately, your control over your own life. So as we move forward in this digital age, let's do so responsibly, with an understanding of the implications of our digital footprint. Let's become responsible digital citizens. Thank you.